Okay, so we're going to introduce uh, introduce acceleration into our uh, component, and uh, so let's make uh, an acceleration class variable, ACC, and we're going to pass in some value, ACC, for acceleration, and so basically uh, position is the position plus velocity so uh, when we update position we just add velocity like we did right here where the new position is the previous position plus the velocity and uh, velocity is our new velocity is our previous velocity plus our acceleration so we have self dot velocity and we're adding self dot acceleration to it and uh, so okay so let's go ahead and uh, create an acceleration and we're going to change this out. We're just going to have uh, uh, our initial velocity at zero, zero, zero. And our acceleration, we're going to have something small like 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 0 0.02. And uh, because we had a uh, in our uh, constructor here we have three variables now so we need to have pass in three variables so let's check this out and see if it works okay delete these points uh, yeah so So it gets faster and faster and faster, and if we let it go, uh, you can see that it's just uh, becoming ridiculously fast. So what we want to do is uh, constrain that vector, and we already made that uh, argument in uh, videos 12 and 13. So we need to we're going to import our uh, library that we made and I changed the name uh, to of the library in my case to vector methods I think as VM VM yeah so uh, here's I think I'm probably even renamed the, the argument that we wrote okay yeah so uh, Here's what we we made in those two videos, and then uh, I just I did the same thing that we did, but I called the file vector methods, and then I'm I'm starting to add in more vector methods that I I'm going to use in other projects and and everything. So uh, so here's the the updated uh, vector constraint. It should be exactly the same, um, but so you should just probably pause this and compare it to uh, the limit vector that you wrote in yours and change the name to vector methods.py using the same format. And uh, in the future, I'll uh, clean up these and uh, make them available. So we have our vector constraint. So we want to constrain the vector. So let's update the velocity again and say rs dot or not rs but vm because I uh, I called that library uh, vector methods as vm. So vm dot I'm going to go down here, use the help, and use go to vector constrain, and then 
uh, because I typed in that extra little uh, explanation here uh, it's going to show up so we can look at that to you know to refresh your, our memory of what it does uh, returns a vectors vector whose length is constrained in between the variables max and min and so we need to do uh, velocity so we're, we need to pass in a vector we're going to pass in self dot velocity and then we're going to constrain it to like five and uh, the max is five and the minimum is zero so let's test that looks like it worked okay so there you go it's kinda seems like it's going going slow so we can go in and we can have it uh, constrained between 0 and 15 maybe so yeah once it reaches 15 it won't go any faster than that so that's pretty fast let's try 10 That seems pretty fast too, but we'll play with that later. Uh, and then while it's going, we can see that I have the plane here, so let's just uh, hide that. And also, uh, that's the point, let's hide that. And we can, you know, just recone however we, however we want it. So that gets us uh, a constant acceleration, and so we'll look at uh, different kinds of acceleration now.